Dear student, today we are going to learn one important theorem that is property of key parallel lines and their transverses. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it to itself. Let's start. Property of three parallel lines and their transversals. Let's see the statement of this theorem. The ratio of the intercepts made on a transversal by three parallel lines is equal to the ratio of the corresponding intercept made on any other transversal by the same parallel lines. In this theorem, you can see there are three parallel lines and there are two transversal for those two, those three parallel lines. So here we have a figure. You can see that in this figure, line L, line M and line N are parallel to each other and T1 line T1 and line T2 are the two transversals of those three parallel lines. So what is given here line L parallel line M parallel line N and you can see in this figure transversal T1 intersect line L, M and N at point A, B and C respectively and transversal T2 intersect line L, M and N at points P, Q and R respectively. Look at in this figure. What I have to prove? The ratio of intercept formed on transversal T1 is equal to the ratio of intercept formed on transversal T2. So first we will try to understand what is intercept. So what is the intercept? Intercept is nothing. It is a segment which is formed on a transversal by two parallel lines. Okay, so look at in this figure here seg AB is the intercept formed on transversal T1 by two parallel lines L and M. Right? Look at in this figure seg BC is the another intercept formed on transversal T1 by another two parallel lines M and N. Similarly, seg PQ and seg QR are the intercept formed on transversal T2. So what I have to prove here, the ratio of intercept formed on one transversal is equal to the ratio of intercept formed on one transversal. That is AB upon BC equals to PQ upon QR. To prove AB upon BC equals to PQ upon QR, we are going to take the help of basic proportionality theorem and you, and you all know this theorem is applicable in a triangle. So here we required a triangle to apply basic proportionality theorem. So here we required construction. What we will do here, we will draw seg PC and let it intersect line M at point D. And you can see that because of seg PC, here we got two triangle, triangle APC and triangle PCR. And in both the triangles, we are going to use basic proportionality theorem. So let's see that we will take first triangle ACP. Look at in this figure. Here I'm going to take triangle ACP. And you can see that in this triangle, seg BD is parallel to seg AP. Do you know why seg BD parallel to seg AP? Since line L and line M are parallel to each other. So I can use here basic proportionality theorem. What we will get? We will get here AB upon BC equals to PD upon DC. We will consider this step as equation number one. Now we will take the other triangle. Look at in this figure. We will take triangle CPR and you can see that in this triangle CPR seg DQ parallel seg CR. Seg DQ parallel seg CR since line M and N are parallel to each other. So here we will apply basic proportional theorem. We will get PD upon DC equals to PQ upon QR. We will consider this as step number two, equation number two. Now look at equation one and equation two. 
can you see equation one and equation two you can see that both the equation have one common ratio that is pd upon dc therefore you can say that all three ratios are equal that is ab upon bc equals to pd upon dc equals to pq upon qr okay this step we got by comparing equation one and two so i can say that ab upon bc equals to pq upon qr so here i have proved it the ratio of intercept formed on transversal t1 is equals to ratio of intercept formed on transversal t2 by three parallels l m and n this is called as property of three parallels and their trans thank you